Hello everybody, I'm Marco Dambros and this is the first part of how to build a two bone case system. Like I mentioned in the first video on the theory, the first step is to build a, a, the, the plane where all our um, IK is going to be set up. And that is actually a name constraint, nothing more, nothing less. So we have a three points, A, B, and C. So we can see A, C, and so the segment is going to be A, C, and B. <coughs> we are going to build um, a matrix here. This uh, with A as a as a base is aiming C, and we use B as a pole vector. So we are going to have a proper up here, and this is going to be our right vector. Uh, that is, all these three vectors need to be perpendicular with each other. And we use the cross vector to uh, the cross product, sorry, to uh, to find uh, all our vectors. So let's start to build the system um, so we can uh, explore better. So this is our uh, our uh, vectors node. Let's build the value. This is gonna be a matrix. Input, input, input. Let's get rename. Base. Target and call. And our output is going to be added to matrix. This is going to be A, and this is going to be B. Let's connect everything. So this is our vectors node, and these are inputs. So by the way, sorry, I didn't know explain the scene. The scene is actually an empty scene, uh, even if you already see some object. Um, you can see some uh, joints here. This is like a basic Maya K. We use this one as a reference to see if we're doing the stop right. Uh, we have three control, uh, base, target, and pole. And we have three transform, in this case, locator, ABC, where we're going to touch uh, our system. These three, actually, uh, because we work, we work, we are working with matrices, we don't need this one in hierarchy. We can easily compute it. We don't need even like uh, element like B or C uh, C, of course. We can literally work this on everything as uh, dark nodes without have any um, representation in uh, our hierarchy. So uh, let's say base, base, base target. So we, let's get the word matrix and plug in base, word matrix, target, or it's going to be, oh, and as output, we get A. And we connect our way A to the offset or extremity. So now you see everything disappear. That is actually correct. Uh, the reason is, let's come back on our bifrost. This is our zero matrix. And of course, if we have uh, the diagonal to zero, the scale is going to be zero and nothing works. OK. Uh, another, let's do another inputs first. Uh, we don't need on this part. So we need it for the second part, but I like to explain now. Um, <coughs> The way that it works, uh, an IK system works, is I have like a fixed length for A, B. It doesn't need to be fixed, but we have as an input the length of A, B because it's our, let's say, hierarchy of our system. I do prefer to have it as an attribute so it's, we can animate it. Uh, but this is up, it's up to you as an option, et cetera. But um, of course, I like as a, as a system to have a specific value on the length. Here, you can even have a reference skeleton and plug the distance, the, the, the length of every single bones. It's, it's up to you. Um, in this particular uh, scenario, I do prefer to have the input like these. Um, you don't need to expose it, uh, but it's nice to have it. So now we can go here. And then I already computed the, the distance. So uh, if you can see, it's a 4242. 4.243. Um, okay, so now what we need? We need uh, uh, vector B and C. Vector B and C are the point C minus A and B minus A. Let's get the value matrix. The reason why I'm using this one and not the decompose, the decompose is more heavier in terms of uh, computation. Sorry. Instead, uh, we just need to have one line of our matrix, that is the last one. Um, so we can just literally, dec um, not decompose, sorry, but uh, extrapolate that by get the value. And here we can just 
officially again. So uh, vector four, the vector three, because these are all, all the time vector four. A uh, point usually in software is described as an array of four elements and vector with the three. Uh, but because we are working with um, with vector, I do prefer to extrapolate this point as a vector three anyway, even if it's not technically necessary. So this is our point A, this is our point C, or is our target, and this is our point B, our full vector. Let's do some subscribe sub, sub, sorry uh, c minus a and that is going to be our segment b and a minus b is going to be our segment c so we have b and c here so let's build our im constraint that is a compound create compound control g as a shortcut uh, is our planar matrix as input we have our aim and our up and our output is gonna be a matrix so this value matrix oh, there you go. then represent our rotation of position in space so like I said, the first uh, vector, so the first row, a uh, column here by row, is gonna be segment B. Uh, we want, of course, normalize uh, uh, this uh, segment because we don't want to have any scale. This is just rotational. So when we normalize the vector, uh, this means force scale to one. Um, we can technically, like I mean, use, you, you can think in the technically it's correct to use up even for the second one. But actually, like I say, uh, if we do this way, we don't have the we don't have the two vector be perpendicular with each other. So it means we start to adding shared, then it's not something that we want. What we can do, we can use the cross product uh, of aim and up, or we can te call temporary up to find our right vector. We will let's normalize it. And that is going to be our third line here. Now then we have the right. We can copy and paste. And we can find the proper up by right cross product of the aim. Remember the order is important. So for the for this one, this is going to be the up. You want to be first, first uh, before doing the um, right. Uh, actually, I'm doing some mistake here. Uh, let's show you what. So if you say here, this is a, uh, is a flow tree, so it's a vector tree. Instead, here is required four. Let's, no, let's transform vector tree to vector four. There you go. So we have our normalize here, aim. So this is our aim. This is our up. And this is our right. Uh, this w can be zero or should be zero. It has to be zero, so it's fine like this. We want to have even the position because when we move this one, we want then uh, it's moving as well. So we can ask as an input for position as well. So let's do this as well. Here, this is going to be our position. Remember that instead for the position, the w need to be one. There you go. So we come back here and we want, we see the position. His position is A. And now we can literally plug this one here. So if you see, we have our aim vector works properly. So we have our plane perfectly. Uh, the second step now is to build up our rotation here. Uh, we are going to use, like I say, the law of cosine. And we can see this one in the next video. So thank you very much for follow. See you in the next video.